the time, boy, I'm so divine. Y'all can go define the fucking word excellence. I'm nice with these bars, but my lethal flow treacherous. Murder beats effortless, a witness, but then I mention it. Biblical bars, I'm spitting verses. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your main man, Exquisite XBL Arazi Haas, aka Kangaroo Jack, straight out of Australia. Bringing you a UMP-45, not the one from Modern Warfare 2 though, although it is a really good weapon. Gameplay here on the map Carbon, this is going to be a double MOAB gameplay. The class setup I'm using is Extreme Conditioning Pro. Uh, my second tier perk is Hardline Pro, my third perk is Set Rep Pro, my specialist perks are Slide of Hand for my first one, Assassin for my second one, and Steady Aim for my third one. I'm going to be using the UMP45, like I said, with the dual attachments proficiency, silencer, and rapid fire. This is a really good class setup. This almost makes it similar to the Modern Warfare 2 UMP because it shoots so fast. It has the ability to kill people really fast, and the range is pretty good. The only thing I really don't like about this weapon, which I don't, I'm not too sure why, is the way it sways. I, I'm not too sure if you unlock the if the stability perk or the st stability proficiency is available for this weapon. But I just don't feel like it's the same as other submachine guns. You know, I know it's not, but just the way you aim down sights and the way it sways, it, it feels a lot different to me. Let me know if I'm the only person that feels that way. But I have a topic for today's commentary, and that's going to be rewarding good players and how Modern Warfare 3 went wrong. And I want you all to leave you all's, you know, your opinions on this. I want to hear what you think Modern Warfare 3 or Infinity Ward could have done to reward good players like they said they would have. And, uh, you know, my biggest thing is that the stealth perks, for one, this is going to be all, like, one part. They took stopping power out, and then they took two stealth perks, and, you know, they put them in different tier, you know, uh, perk slots. And it's just not fair for somebody to be able to run Blind Eye, which hides you from uh, UAV, or uh, hides you from kill streaks, not UAVs, though. So it hides you from lethal kill streaks. Then you have Assassin that hides you from non-lethal kill streaks, and then you have Dead Silence that makes you, you know, fucking makes you the ultimate ninja. And it's uh, I just find it really unfair, and I find it really degrading. It doesn't reward good players at all, especially when you're gonna give you uh, give somebody a perk that allows them to lock on to your uh, your kill streaks that you earned faster and shoot them down faster i'm not i don't even know what blind eye pro does but i'm pretty sure it allows you to lock on to uh you know kill streaks faster to shoot them down and it's just it's really not fair it's you know you say you're going to reward good players but then you put in stuff like spawn protection then you take away you know the ac being able to see enemies on the ac-130 you don't make them infrared you just put red squares around them and stuff like that it just it it doesn't make sense i don't I don't understand why you... Of course I know why you said you're going to reward good players so people would buy the game. But it just... Uh, you really... You cater to the noobs, Infinity Ward. I don't... I don't understand why you do this. You're you're losing all your fans. And I... Don't get me wrong. You're like... I, I didn't really like Black Ops. And the reason for that being is because it was a really connection-biased, you know, based game. And uh, without like a four bar, it would be really hard to do get really good gameplays because your hit detection wouldn't be good, your bullets would be doing less damage, and that's the reason that I like Modern Warfare 3 more currently is because I can actually kill people when I shoot them. Although there is lag and there is bad hit detection, it's not nearly as bad as it was in Black Ops. But at least, you know, the, the creators of Black Ops, uh, Treyarch, didn't put in stuff like Death Streaks. They didn't have, you know, fucking Final Stand and Dead Man's Hand. Like, what is that, man? How... How are you going to put Final Stand in, which is already horrible, and then put something that blows you up while they're in Final Stand in the game? It it, it it really doesn't make sense to me. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Like, I like to snipe. I was a really big sniper in Black Ops, but it was because it required some skill. You didn't see every person in the world sniping. And uh, in Modern Warfare 3, it's just so easy. Why are you going to cater to the people... Once again, I know why you're gonna cater to the people because you wanna, you know, you wanna make more money. But see, the thing what Treyarch's doing is they're catering to their true fans, which is gonna prolong the Call of Duty existence. I don't know how long Call of Duty's gonna be around for. You know, let me know what, you, how long you think it's gonna last. I think it'll last for a while. Although Machinima, you know, Machinima Entertainment or uh, Respawn Entertainment is coming out with a, uh, you know, their own shooter, their, their own fir first-person shooter. And uh, that has the two leading developers on Call of Duty f from Call of Duty 4 that left. Or I don't know if they left or they got fired or what. But it's uh, it's just really, it doesn't make sense how you say you're going to reward good players and you don't. You, reward, you cater to the noobs. It's, uh, 
it's frustrating, man. I seriously wanted to fucking break your disc, this disc today. But, uh, you know, I didn't. I still like playing the game. Just, goddamn, it gets so frustrating, man. Let me know you all's opinions on how they could uh, reward good players instead of, you know, catering to the noobs. And what Modern Warfare 3 did wrong. Don't, you know, go crazy in the comments, but just let me know. And hopefully you all enjoyed this gameplay. I'm going to finish it off with some music and peace the fuck out, YouTube. Superhero boy, I'm fucking here to save the place. Uh, me and instrumental just get along. Stuck in the present, but my soul's in the renaissance. I'm time to set a sound, lighting up the room. And when I die, all I ask is put a mic up in my tomb. Right is the womb, the hype is finna bloom. High res, and yes, there's a hyphen up in the tomb. So I